hey everyone welcome back to another video for today's video i have a small fragrance haul i have four new fragrances that have entered my perfume collection and i wanted to share my first impression with you guys on these fragrances so if you are new to my channel and you love all things girly beauty fragrance self-care body care go ahead and subscribe i would love to see you back for my future uploads and with that said let's jump right into the haul so today i'm going to be sharing a perfume haul with you guys three of these fragrances were sent over to me one of them i purchased myself so i'm going to be starting off today with the fragrances that were sent to me by so avant-garde if you don't know about so avant-garde check them out i'm going to be leaving all of the information down in the description box below you can find samples on their website you can find fragrances they are niche fragrances and i have a 20 percent off discount code which i'm going to be putting on the screen and it is amy 20 so it will be 20% off of your order with them they have so much to choose from so I'm going to jump into the ones that were sent over to me this month and before I begin you guys know that even though these fragrances have been sent over to me and I am so grateful I will always be honest with you guys and even if a fragrance is not for me it doesn't mean that it's a bad fragrance or that I don't recommend it so I'm gonna let you guys know if the fragrance is for me or if it's not who it might be for so today we have two very very interesting fragrances i'm still i still don't know how i feel about them you guys like i think with these i'm gonna need a little bit of time to see if anything changes because they're not complete fails for me but they're also not my type of fragrance there's just something about each of these that just isn't for me but there's something that i like out of both of them so i think i want to let these sit for a little bit before i completely make up my mind on them but i'm going to start off with the first one and this one is from mind games this is the forward so here is the packaging for mind games very very nice packaging here is the bottle so this is the third mind games fragrance that i have in my collection the first one that i got which i believe was called castling I might be wrong, but I gave that one to my father-in-law. So I do have Double Attack, which is a beautiful chocolate fragrance. Very warm and spicy and gourmand. This one here is called The Forward. So here is the beautiful bottle. All of their bottles, their caps are like chess pieces. And they're very, very heavy bottles. This, the quality of the bottle, the fragrance. Even though this fragrance... I'm still not entirely in love with it. The opening of it is breathtaking. I think it's so beautiful. So I'm going to read the main accords first and the notes, and then we'll get into the fragrance. All right, so the main accords for this fragrance are woody, salty, powdery, white floral, musky, marine. I'm actually very, very excited about this one because I do have this side of me that really enjoys like marine type of fragrances it takes me back to my summers in puerto rico a lot of beach life and going out on the boat so fragrances like this always kind of bring that back for me which i like so the notes for this fragrance the top you have pomelo lemon and mandarin orange middle notes are salt jasmine sun back and tonka bean and the base notes are sandalwood cashmere and madagascar vanilla so this one when i first spray this fragrance which i'm gonna spray on my skin the opening is, it takes me back to a fragrance I had when I was living in Puerto Rico. I can't put my finger on what fragrance it is, but it's definitely marine. There's definitely like, it just feels like a breath of fresh air by the sea. Perfect for like summer vacation, perfect. It just makes me think of being on a boat in the middle of the ocean. The thing about this one is that as it starts to dry down, I'm not sure what note it is that gets a little bit intense. Not sure because sometimes I don't have the best luck with salt notes. I feel like this one, I want to wait until it warms up to see how I feel about it. I do feel like this is unisex. I feel like it would smell amazing on a man and also on a woman. This can be an everyday fragrance, but it can also be something that you can wear to work, that you can wear to like a lunch somewhere or somewhere that you're going to be meeting up with people. It just smells very put together and fresh, but in like a very luxurious way. Very elevated and like sophisticated while still getting like that marine, 
fresh type of vibe so it's a very unique fragrance and it's definitely for those of you who like fresh aquatic salty skin type of fragrance this one is one that i feel like i can grow to love so this one i'm gonna leave in my collection right now it's not a complete love for me but i want to leave it in my collection and see how this works for me like spring and summertime especially summer this has something where i feel like mixed with a warm day with the sun hitting your skin it would probably smell really Really, really nice so yeah this one I want to give it some time but if you have tried this fragrance comment down below what your experience was with it how you like it definitely my thoughts are unisex breezy luxurious like it kind of puts me in that mind frame of those fragrances that always take me to like a resort you're on vacation it's summertime you're either like on a cruise or you're in a boat or something that's just what this puts me in the mindset of it's just a very clean scent without it being laundry very spa like very relaxing there's just something in here that gets a little strong on my skin so i definitely want to wait for spring and summer but it's a beautiful fragrance for sure very unique i love mind games for that all of the mind games fragrances that i have tried even if they remind me of something that i smelled before they're super unique and super very nicely blended smooth they're not too screechy or anything it's just there is one note in here that my skin is not too happy with i'm not sure what it could be but this on a man i think would be so sexy it like a daytime fragrance like i want my husband to try this one for sure so that is the first one this is mind games the forward so if i had to rate this right now without getting to know it because i feel like i need time with it i would give it like a seven out of ten all right this next one i was super super excited about and now that i have it it's reminding me of a fragrance that you guys know I did not like, unfortunately. And this one is kind of reminding me of that fragrance. I'm kind of sad that this one I don't think is going to work out for me. But again, I'm not going to be quick to get rid of these. I'm going to keep them in my collection. Let them sit for a little bit. But this is Nishane Ani X. So I did have a dupe version of the original Ani and I did like how kind of like cozy, warm vanilla it is, but there's always been something to it that made me feel like it was a little bit masculine. So here's the packaging for this one. I mean, the packaging is so beautiful, stunning. And the bottle is also amazing. This bottle is beautiful. It's heavy. It feels really nice the cap itself is like very heavy as well i love the bottle of it so so much so i'm gonna look up the main accords first so the main accords for this fragrance are citrus vanilla woody warm spicy aromatic powdery fresh fruity fresh spicy and aquatic this one has so many notes the top notes are lemon bergamot melon ginger cardamom water notes and pink pepper middle notes green apple black currant patchouli sage lavender rose and then the base notes are vanilla sandalwood cashmere wood white musk ambergris and cedar super long list of notes and i honestly don't even want to spray this one on my skin because kind of gives me a little bit of a headache but i'm gonna do it just to see if it smells any different today I've been letting it sit. I've had them for like I would say two weeks now and I've just been letting it sit in my collection because the first time I sprayed this fragrance, unfortunately, I was not a fan. It just smells very, very masculine to me. But as it has sat, now I am starting to pick up a lot of those citrusy notes. I'm picking up like this candy citrusy scent i'm guessing it's from the lemon the bergamot and the melon mixed together very fruity but then right underneath that layer of tart citrusy almost sweet or almost mouth-watering type of scent there is that dna of like spicy warm i don't know if this is for me i feel like maybe it just doesn't sit right on my skin i would love to smell this again on my husband to see if he likes them on him because i feel like this would work really really nicely on a man i feel like i would love to smell this on a man i feel like it's a little bit too masculine leaning for me but it has been changing a little bit when i first smelled this fragrance it took me to kayali's what was it called 
Vanilla Royale, is that what it was called? Something Spice Patchouli, something, the one with the gold bottle. I did not like that fragrance. I tried it so many times and it was just not for me. This one reminds me of that one a little bit, but this one is way more likable. Now that I'm spraying it some more after having it for a while, I will say very strong. I feel like this, People will smell you like before you enter the room, you're going to fill the room. It's very potent in my opinion. I feel like I have to give this one some time, to be honest. I don't want to say that it's not for me yet because they have changed quite a bit since the first time I smelled them. So I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit and I'll definitely be updating you guys in the future if anything changes, if I'm liking it better, if I ended up loving them because that can definitely happen and I can end up absolutely loving it. But right now I feel like the mix of notes in here is just not my favorite. It's a little bit too just masculine leaning to me. That's all that I'm getting from this one. It's not a bad fragrance. It doesn't smell bad. It just, I would prefer to smell this on a man in my opinion, because I do know that there are women who really love like unisex fragrances. So if you love a unisex fragrance and you do like like that vanilla spicy touch with some fresh citrus thrown in there, I think you would really, really like this. So these are definitely fragrances that I would sample first 100% because I feel like they can be polarizing. So I'm definitely going to be updating you guys with these in the future, but I really want to hear your thoughts on these. If you guys have this fragrance or if you have the original Ani, which one do you prefer? And if you have this fragrance, let me know your opinion on this one. So I will be trying those out some more just to see how I feel about those. So next up, I was contacted by Michael Malul and they wanted to send over one of their latest releases and this is called Berry Blanche. So here is the packaging for this one. Now this, you guys, I think I've had this also for like two weeks and oh my God, I really, really like this. I have worn this fragrance already like five times since I got it. I've, I've kind of like kept coming back to it just because something about it I really, really enjoy. So here is the packaging for this one. I need to find this one and link it for you guys because this is the first time that I even try a fragrance from this house. I've never owned any Michael Malul fragrances, but I am going to look up the main accords first. All right, so the main accords for this fragrance are fruity, amber, sweet, musky, balsamic, powdery, woody, and leather. Sounded super duper interesting. When they contacted me, the first thing that I did was I ran to Fragrantica. I looked up the fragrance just to see if this is the type of fragrance that I would like because sometimes people will contact me, I will look up the fragrance and it will be like suede and leather and oud and I'm just like, I'm sorry. More than likely, I'm not going to enjoy that fragrance. So I'd rather not even go through that. So when I saw the notes for this one, the main accords, it sounded interesting. So the top notes, there's strawberry, angelica, pepper, and cypress. Middle notes, strawberry again, freesia, orange blossom, cloves, and lavender. And the base notes are Loranox, Orcanox, musk, balsamic notes, and immortelle super duper unique to me. There's notes in there that I've never even heard of before. And I was just like, you know what? Go ahead, send it over. Let's see how I like this. I love this so far. Remember, this is a haul, but this fragrance, oh my God. Every time I spray it, it's like the opening of this fragrance is so good. It almost has that same strawberry. I did talk about strawberries and champagne from Victoria's Secret. That used to be one of my favorites. It has kind of like that touch in there, but then there's also like this, I wouldn't say freshness, but I feel like that those notes in there, like the angelica, the pepper gives it like this freshness along with that cypress. This is what I thought Mon Pari would smell like when I first got it. But Mon Pari to me, is like a patchouli bomb. It's like dirty to my nose. I cannot get the strawberry, which in here, the strawberry, she is there. Like she is the star of the show in this one, but it's not that strawberry that's done over and over again, where it's kind of like strawberry cake or strawberry. This, this to me, it's a very fresh and cool strawberry. And it almost has like this luxurious touch to it. It reminds me of this mall that I used to go to in Puerto Rico where 
the hallway was just filled with like expensive stores and they all had like their smell kind of combining together and it just smelled so good i feel like that's what this smells like it just takes me back to that now the reason why i was super duper interested in this fragrance was because when i scroll down to this perfume reminds me of i see hot couture edp and hot couture edt and i know that those have been a little bit harder to find so i was just like okay if this is similar to hot couture i could recommend it to my viewers but i don't feel like it reminds me of hot couture at all at all hot couture is very smoky to me this is more fresh spicy but like in a cool way and it almost makes me think more like i said of mon pari in the way that there's strawberry in there but then there's also florals there's clove it just kind of took me more towards mon pari vibes than hot couture so unfortunately i wouldn't say that this is similar to hot couture but i definitely recommend this if you like strawberry this to me smells like I'm going to have either some lunch with some girlfriends and then we're gonna go shopping or we're gonna do like very girly things. Like it just smells very girly and juicy and expensive and just not, it's, it's different to me. Like this one is different enough for me to add it to my collection and not have something that smells just like this. It's very interesting smell. It's very unique. I'm very, very impressed with this one so far. And the performance is pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's like super beast mode or anything like that. It does last me like throughout the night when I wear it. And I just love the way that it smells. So very feminine, very like juicy strawberry along with some florals, a little bit of like a freshness to it. Definitely recommend this one. And then last but not least, I bought this fragrance myself because I've been super curious about this. You guys know that I love Killian's Angel Share. As soon as fall time comes around, I'm kind of like eyeing it. I get excited for it. It's like a very cinnamony, boozy apple pie but to me it smells like coquito type of perfume like the spices that go into making a coquito so of course i have been hearing all over youtube tiktok that this is kind of like a dupe for it and this is from latafa this is camera so first off the packaging beautiful and look at the fragrance you guys this is so like this is beautiful to me if i was to see this just like in a display i would think that it costs more than a hundred dollars for sure and this is affordable i believe i believe this was like forty dollars on amazon i'm going to put the link in the description box but here is the bottle for this fragrance and i'm very excited about this one just i'm going to be doing a video dedicated specifically to this i want to compare it to my angel share so i'm not going to talk about that in this video because i really do want to do like just a video comparing the two and just giving my opinions if this is truly like a good dupe for killian's angel share since i do own that one too so let me know if you guys are interested in that video but let's take a look at the notes for this one. So the main accords for this one are sweet, warm, spicy, amber, vanilla, cinnamon, woody, fresh, spicy, and fruity. And the top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. Middle notes are dates, praline, tuberose, and mahonio. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber wood, benzoin, myrrh, and akigala wood. First off, the bottle is like really heavy. Very, very nicely made bottle, very heavy. No complaints there. Okay, this one, you guys. This is beautiful, so beautiful. I feel like this still needs time to sit. And I know that 1000% with, with all of these Middle Eastern fragrances and honestly with all fragrances I feel like when you first get it which sometimes I tend to kind of jump ahead and make my decision too early but I feel like fragrances need to sit for a little bit this smells so good and it definitely has like a feminine touch to it that I am loving but I do feel like it's gonna get much thicker with time and I definitely pick up like cinnamon in here it's spicy I pick up sweetness in here. There's definitely something sweet. It's going to be pretty strong. I feel like this fragrance is not going to be lacking in the performance department. I feel like it's going to last and I feel like it's definitely gonna get stronger with time. 
This is definitely for those of you guys who love woody, spicy. I wouldn't say it's super duper gourmand. There's amber in here, but it's smooth. It doesn't make me sick like some ambers can do. Definitely spicy cinnamon. I am so happy I added this to my collection. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts if you own this one. I know a lot of you guys suggested that I try this fragrance, so I am loving it. It's so good, so let me know. Those of you who have it, how has it gotten over time? Has it gotten better for you? Has it gotten thicker, stronger? I wanna know. So this is definitely going to be talked about on my channel with time as I get to know it better. So definitely recommend that one. So that brings me to the end of today's video. Those are the four fragrances that have joined my perfume collection that I'm going to be working with to see if they stay or if they go. I'm not entirely sure for all of them yet, but I am so happy to be able to experience these fragrances. And that is going to be it for me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you own any of these fragrances, how you feel about them, how they work for you, how they perform on you. And I can't wait to chat with you in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la.